So today guys we're gonna talk about this fragrance Tom Ford Rose Brick Hello guys, how are you today? I hope you are all well. Thank you very much for clicking on my video and if you like content on my channel, please subscribe and uh, click the button for notifications so you can be notified of my future videos. And uh, in case you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I am so appreciative of every single one of you who comments, who put uh, down comments and I read all of them, I um, appreciate all of them and I try to answer to all of them. So now let's start with the video. I was actually gonna uh, do today a mini haul video, but I just can't stop thinking about this one fragrance, so I thought Nah, just do this video about this fragrance uh, because I, I, I keep thinking only about this fragrance and yes, it's right here, there you go, there I have it and uh, today I've decided to do this video only about this fragrance um, very special for me, it just arrived yesterday and I was so happy so I'm very excited, I'm super excited, um, I'm gonna open it in front of you, I was waiting for today for this uh, recording of this video so I can do it all with you, I can share it all with you and um, this is my little gem, um, I've been um, in love with this fragrance since I smelled it so um, the story about this fragrance is I went to shops uh, as you know now you can go and smell fragrances um, and uh, they give it to you on the testers and everything so I smelled about 30 fragrances at least on a tester I know it's a lot I had my coffee beans with me as well and uh, I mean I've done it like two days not in one day altogether and this fragrance a uh, Tom Ford rose prick just kept winning all the time. Um, when I kept smelling all other fragrances, I always ended up liking this one. When I was comparing all other fragrances, I always ended up liking this one. So when I went to shop, it was actually the first one I smelled in the shop. I think it was the sign. So I um, asked them to put it on the paper, on the tester, and they did, and I smelled it. Then I waited about three minutes, and then I thought, wow, that's really nice one, like, wow. So I thought, which one was this one? Oh yeah, it was just prick. So, and I was like blown away, like, wow. And what confuses me is that I'm not very rose fragrance person. I never really got into rose fragrances, but I realized I actually like rose fragrances just different kind of rose fragrances so um, there's I think I'm, I'm not a rose fragrance expert but I think there's two types of roses so there is kind of roses I'm not so keen on and then there is another types of roses I absolutely allow so for example I people say this smells similar to Portrait of a Lady, I think that's what it's called. And I smelled Portrait of a Lady another day, and no, I didn't like this one at all. It was nothing for me. Just this is exactly the type of rose I don't like. So then I uh, smelled Delina because lots of people compare it to Delina, and I like Delina, but Rose Prick from Tom Ford is still better. Now when I got home I had the tester on the side of my bed on the table and uh, it was with another fragrance that I really like and that was by Fireplace, a f replica from Maison Margiela and oh my god I just could not stop smelling it, I just I couldn't even sleep, it was so good, I, I don't know if, if it was the combination of them two or it was one of them and I needed to find out. I like both fragrances, but they are very different, but the combo of these two, by the fireplace from Replica, uh, from my Mason Margiela and Rose Brick Tom Ford, this is such a great combination, but I wanted to decide which one I really, really like. So I like both of them, but 
when I smell them on my skin, I prefer more rose prick. They are completely different, completely different scents, but together they work magic. But I wanted to get only one of them. And it lasted on the paper one week. Tom Ford Rose Prick lasted, lasted on the paper one week. And I could st I still could smell it. Now I spread Delina as well on the paper and not at all. It Delina didn't last at all on the paper or on my skin. So no and the smell I didn't like as much as this one. So to me, Tom Ford Rose Prick smelled much better than Delina. Um, no offense to anyone, but um, that's how I felt. And um, eventually, well, I decided this is the winner of all of them, 30 or something fragrances on the paper tester. And eventually I decided, yeah, I need this in my life. I know it's very pricey, that's the problem with this. This fragrance causes loads of controversy and I think it's because of the price. Honestly, it is very pricey. Oh yeah, it is very, very pricey. Um, yeah, no comment. Shall we get to the fragrance and open it and to actual fragrance review now? So I'll show you the package, how it comes. It's all um, sealed still. I just kept it uh, for the review to share uh, to share this gorgeous thing with you guys. Um, so it doesn't have anything like stamp on the top or anything. Um, this is the code for the fragrance. Um, it comes in a baby pink uh, box with the black uh, square sign name so let's open this yeah Ta -da. I'm so excited guys let's see there you go oh my god <sighs> Oh, look at this beauty! Oh. I'm, I mean, I've never owned anything from Tom Ford Private Blend, but mm, this feels amazing, <laughs> like amazing. So, um, look at the box. Right. It's very. Nice box, it's an um, interesting um, shape as well of the bottle. Um, so the box is matte, baby pink color. This is unisex, so it's for men and women. I mean, these days even men wear pink color, so why not? Um, it's black inside, um, it's got some ingredients at the end, at the back. So it says Tom Ford Rose Prick for the Parfum. This is 50 ml. I mean, the name Rose Prick. <laughs> hmm. We'll get into it probably later. Um, Prick. Yeah. I think this fragrance is gonna be for a very special prick in my life. <laughs> so I'm gonna be saving it for special occasions. Um, to be honest. This name for this scent is quite good uh, if you if you think about it, if you think about it because I'm gonna explain later. To me, this fragrance is very strong, but at the same time very gentle. So it's gentle but very strong. So it's both like rose, very gentle, but freak like very strong. Um, and this is the bottom of the fragrance. It's like on pedestal or something. Um, I love it. I love it. I never own anything like this. Oh my god. It's gorgeous. So, oh. <laughs> I like this bottle, don't you guys? It's a beautiful bottle. Tom Ford on the top. To be honest, I actually really admire his imagination of the bottles. 
it's very classy bottle um, and very simple like uh, when you play chess um, the shape of it so shall we open it now Oop, there you go I love it I love it oh look at this I love it it's just very very nice uh, oh it makes sound <laughs> I can smell it already. OMG, OMG, OMG. Oh my god. Guys, this is something. This is something. Uh, I mean, you need this in your life. If you like roses, spicy roses, you need this in your life. Oh my god. This is absolutely amazing stunning fragrance now let's spray it right mm. gorgeous so obviously when you sp when you spray um, first time it usually doesn't spray you see this it didn't spray and it didn't spray now it's sprayed always on the third time when it's new completely new fragrance you have to wait twice and then third time it sprays mm. But I'm not gonna spray this in the air because this is so special, this is too expensive to waste it in the air. I'm not gonna waste this. Mm -mm, no, 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 this one. No, this is not gonna. I mean, I could just once, just once, okay? Just once, just to see what the sprayer like. Ready, guys? Ready? Let's spray it still on the hand. Let's spray it there. But watch the spray. nice very gentle as well it's all gentle I mean this is for men as well but to me it's quite gentle I think it's um, gravitating more to the feminine side right guys now I'll, I'll leave it like for about three minutes like I did in the shop I, I like it first and then after about two three minutes when I smelled it again I was like wow I was smitten away I was blown away oh this is absolutely Heaven. Right, this is exactly how I would angels to imagine to smell. It's how angels smell. But angels with the horns, like naughty angels. Because this is also like very sexy fragrance. It's a little like there's a little like spiciness to it. It's got like this sexy punch, spicy, sexy punch. So it's roses in it, as it says in the name, rose prick. But exactly like this, it's gentle like a rose, but like a brick, it's just like it gives you this punch. So this fragrance is so beautifully blended. Mm, gorgeous, gorgeous! You need this in your life. Oh my god! The thing is, I would, I could make this fragrance easily my um, signature scent, but the problem is, it's so pricey. I can't make it my signature scent. I can't wear it all the time because. I would feel like I'm wasting so much money. If I was a millionaire, oh yes, I would wear it all the time, every day, every single day, any occasion, every occasion. But I'm not a millionaire yet. <laughs> maybe if you like guys more of my videos and if you watch my videos more, maybe I will become a millionaire, I don't know. But so far I'm not. So I'm gonna save this for a very special occasions. Um, to be honest, this fragrance could be easily worn um, all year round. It's so it's so versatile fragrance. Uh, you, um, I think you can um, easily wear it um, in uh, fall, spring, winter, but also in summer, like summer evenings or colder summer days. Um, it's easily worn. On a daytime and evenings, but I think it's very. It would be very nice on a romantic date, like nice, luxurious restaurant with the guy of your heart. Oh my God! Uh, this fragrance is definitely crowd pleaser, uh, so I think this will be very big compliment getter wherever you go. I think people will be asking you what you're wearing. Could I imagine it on a guy? 
yes because there is this little punch of spiciness so yes i could imagine it on a guy but i think it's leaning more to feminine side so this is absolutely this is perfection in a bottle guys so notes it's quite simple quite simple fragrance so at the top we've got Sichuan pepper and turmeric and in the middle we've got three kind of roses right main rose turkish rose and bulgarian rose and then we've got at the bottom patchouli and tolubal so notes on the top i don't even know what the Sichuan pepper is i don't know what it smells like but if that's what you can smell at the opening it's absolutely gorgeous and turmeric that's another thing i've never smelled I mean, I, I know what, what turmeric smells like, but I've never smelled it in the fragrance, I think. So, wow, if this blend gives it this punch, then it's absolutely great, like, beautiful blending. But anyways, I think I may talk a little bit of nonsense now, but um, let's get to the roses. So there are three kinds of roses. So if you... Um, Think about these three kinds of roses, May Rose, Turkish Rose and Bulgarian Rose. And they apparently come from a private garden of Tom Ford. I mean, I would actually believe they come from his private garden because they are so beautiful in there. They, they, it smells so beautiful. This fragrance, now when I'm smelling it, I think it's more for grown up woman for a woman who knows what she wants, for a mature woman. Um, 25 plus, I think. But at the same time, it's quite gentle, so even younger girls could pull it off. I mean, 25 is not that old anyway, but like 25 plus, like 25, 30 years, 40 years, yeah, like this kind of range, but even older, yeah. This, this fragrance is so versatile, it's unreal. It's absolutely versatile for any age, any occasion, any season. Like I said, it could easily be a um, signature scent if it wasn't that pricey, that expensive. Now, uh, do I think it's worth it? Um, hmm. <laughs> there's a question. Um, I think there's a question mark. For this price, I, I mean, I generally think niche fragrances are not worth the price anyway, just any niche fragrance. So, but I think it's better if you go and try for yourself, smell it in the shop, spray it on your skin and be the judge. Now, let's finally get to the scent of the fragrance, right? Um, this scent is so beautifully blended it's such a complex fragrance absolutely amazing a beautifully blended perfect just perfection it's like water soft but stronger than fire it gets through the cracks right like Bruce Lee said and that what I mean by that is it gets into your heart I mean guys women will smell you and you will get under their skin. It's so amazing. It's beautiful smell. It's just gorgeous. There is something about this fragrance, right? So first at the opening, I can smell. It just, I smell. I probably can smell this Sichuan pepper with turmeric, but then very quickly it blends with all these roses. So the roses are not very prominent there actually and then uh, in the dry down there is a patchouli but it's not prominent patchouli it's just very beautiful amount very beautifully blended into this fragrance and also uh, Tom Cabino which is quite warm and sweet and spicy but it's not not sweet whatsoever like it's it's you can feel a sweetness and warmness in this fragrance but it's not the sweetness like, like sweet, it's just a hint of sweetness, like like it's very warm but not too sweet or anything like this at all, but it's just very warm, inviting, cozy, just, just sexy as well, seductive, amazing. 
I would expect that, that this will be head turner and you will get loads of compliments. People will be asking you what you're wearing. It's um, such a gorgeous scent. It's um, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful roses in there. The blend of the roses, how it's in there. I'm not a roses fan, but I absolutely love roses blend in there. So. I don't understand this bad yet. It's absolutely amazing. So guys, I've been trying this fragrance today and I came to conclusion um, or verdict about this perfume, um, Tom Ford Rose Brick. I've been wearing it during the day and now I can say something more about this fragrance, but I think when you wear it for a while on your skin, I don't know what it is like when you have it on a paper, it's, it lasts all week, just to last and last, when you have it on the skin, um, yeah, probably about six hours, I think, actually, when I sprayed it like properly, I think. So longevity is not that great for this amount of money you pay for it. Projection, about the same. So, hmm, I would say projection is about, yeah, six points out of ten. So for this amount of money you would expect enormous projection, enormous longevity, and it's not there. So. As beautiful as them is, the projection and longevity is a bit disappointing. So, yeah. Does it worth the money? I don't know. <laughs> but I'm glad I have it. So, yeah, guys, go to the shop, spray it on your skin properly, walk around and see what you think and be the judge. That's what I think. So, um, thank you for watching.